All right, we're going to make some beef stew for tonight. We're going to need some vegetables, some carrots, celery, potatoes, garlic. And we'll just get carrots like this, a couple, and a couple sticks of celery. We'll find some garlic, some rosemary, some thyme, or we'll see what we can find for Okay, guys, I think I've got everything here. We've got thyme, rosemary, and now look at this. I've got some beef with red wine broth. That's exactly what I need. Got your beef. This is what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. I have it all laid out here for you. My new uh, Dutch oven. It's a master chef. Um, first time I've used a Dutch oven. This one here was at Canadian Tire, regularly $169.95, on sale $49.95. So, and it's a 2.8 uh, quart, um, is it quarts, liter, whatever, um, size. So I don't know, it's just the right size for me, but I don't know if it's going to be the right size to hold everything I've got. This is what it looks like, the lid. And it's black on the inside. It's it's uh, enamel. So this should work nicely. Heavy. Real nice and heavy. And then this is what I've got for the beef stew here tonight. We've got your beef. I'm going to cut this up. Uh, put uh, flour on it so that it's thick in the sauce. We have four small potatoes, which I'm going to quarter. We've got a carrot, celery, onion, fresh garlic, and some beef and red wine broth. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be great tonight. So, All right, first of all is washing the potatoes. We'll get them nice and cleaned. And then we'll quarter these or maybe even smaller and get them ready so let's cut up the potato now auto doesn't seem to work that great here so let's change this okay might make these a bit smaller yet So chunks about like that size there. Let's chop up the celery. Clean up the ends a little better. And we'll split these in half here. And then we'll chop these up into nice pieces. We're using three celery stock. Okay, I've peeled the carrot. We're going to cut off quite big chunks.
put these in with the uh, with the celery. And then we'll do the onion. And this is a fairly large onion. But that's okay, I like onion. That in the garbage. Need a new garbage can there. It is full. go nice big pieces of onion put those in with the carrots and celery because those are all going to go in at the same time and then we'll get some garlic maybe five cloves of garlic love garlic get some of these cloves out of here okay let's cho chalk these all up nicely and the cut I have is right in the end of my finger too Boy, the garlic sure smells good. Wow. Okay, we'll put that right in with the carrots and the onions and the celery. Okay, guys, the meat is here. Cut it up. I cut it up a little better, smaller chunks. And we're going to add the flour, flour them up. The meat is sort of washed and by all means if I'm doing something wrong here guys or uh, should be doing something different let me know because this is the first time I've used my um, Dutch oven so I need help there the meat is ready to go I've got the potatoes right here ready to go and then I have the uh, carrots celery onions and garlic in here ready to go now the herbs I'm going to put in is uh, bay leaves I'm going to put bay leaf in there then I have where did I put those uh, I have some thyme and I have um, some rosemary also to put in. Yes, I have some thyme I'm going to put in and some rosemary along with the bay leaves. 
So what we'll do is we'll brown up the um, we'll brown up the meat first. We'll put some oil in here. Okay, we'll, <clears throat> we'll put a little oil in the pan. A few tablespoons and then we'll brown up the meat I need some tong things there we go and then we'll get the oven going or the, get the stove going okay so what I did now was I uh, I put some flour. I guess I should wait till I get this nice and hot. Let's put this on the stove and get it going. From there, I guess I can get rid of my pressure cooker, get it out of the way. Let's turn on some heat. All right. camera over here we can see a little better I guess I can't get right inside the show you inside the Dutch oven what it's gonna look like but more flour in the bottom of the bowl here I think I'll mix them up a little bit more get them all breaded nicely or get some uh, flour on there to thicken up the okay there we go we're starting to sizzle Looks like I can get about half in there now and put the other half in when these get nice and browned up. Beautiful. A little bit of light on the subject. And then we'll do our vegetables. Oh yes. Now you can hear that coming along real nice. We'll brown them up just a little bit, or really good. And we'll set those aside and we'll do the last few here. Now here again, I'm going to need some help with the Dutch oven. I don't quite know how this is going to work. I've never never used a Dutch oven before I don't know if you can hear me over the sizzling <laughs> do you just let uh, like there's some sticking on the bottom I guess you just leave that there that probably will all come off and be used in the, uh, the final took the meat out now let's add the vegetables the carrots the onions the garlic the celery 
and we'll do this for about I don't know seven eight minutes now there was you know some meat stuck on the bottom and I assume that you just leave it there we'll do this until this is caramelized and here again guys if you see me doing anything I shouldn't be doing or I'm doing it wrong or even if I'm doing it right let me know this is just going to be your regular beef stew with um, a wine uh, beef broth in there also so let's add some salt and pepper I don't know how thick it's going to get. I bread it or I put some flour on the meat. I hope that that's going to be enough. If not, I guess you just add more flour to it. There's some salt. We'll put a little pepper in. Then we'll put some, uh, later on, we'll put a little bit of rosemary in there and some thyme once we add our broth here a little after it gets caramelized here this might be a pretty big bowl of or a pretty big batch a beef stew. Okay, we'll let that cook down a bit. Okay, I think we're ready to put some, a little bit of broth in here. Add the other small ingredients. I'm going to turn the heat up and get this going real good here. So let's add a little bit of this broth so this is what I have for broth the beef and red wine oh, and yes it does smell like red wine so I'm hoping that this will release the particles from the bottom the meat otherwise it's a cleaning job so the rosemary you just put the whole thing in like this I guess put the rosemary in and the thyme do you chop it up or do you just put it in the way it is I don't know let's put it in this is the way I've done it I guess and the bay leaf now where are my bay leaves to put in three bay leaves in there four what the heck I had four in my hand a little bit more broth and get this all in there that cook a bit Wow does it ever smell good whoo we'll wait till this gets a nice good boil on there first time making this in a Dutch oven so let me know your thoughts 
and if I have done anything wrong so that I can do it again. I'm sure this is going to taste good no matter what. It's going to have to thicken up a bit more than this, let me tell you. This is not thick enough yet. Do I have to put more um, uh, broth in there? Not much broth left. I might just use it all. It's not going to overdo it, I don't think. Now, we will add some more flour onto that. Where did I put my flour? that's enough all right we've got a good nice good boil going here Okay, let us add the potato. Put the potato in. Now I think if I add this broth we're going to have too much with the extra flour. This is what it's like here. I won't add it all in. I'll just put a little bit in. I can always put a little bit more if I have to. Okay, let's turn the heat down a bit. Like that. Let's put the lid on. And let's let her go. And I'll come back at you in, let's try in a half an hour from now. Oh, <clears throat> all right, this is what we've got here. Look at this. My goodness. Holy. Now, let's plate some of this, or bowl some of this up with my bread. Let's try and see what it tastes like. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Nice bowl of stew and some nice bread that I've cooked today, or baked today, cooked, baked. Anyways, great. This should be good. It's hot, but it should be good. Let's try some. And I, can, I can tell you what it's, what it's like. Let me try a piece of carrot right here. All right. Mmm. Mmm, you betcha. All the flavoring you need. It's got the right amount of salt. All the seasons I can taste the, the rosemary and the thyme and the bay leaves. Oh, man, is this good. Bread is just plain, no butter, nothing on there. But let's eat. Happy New Year, everyone.